Welcome to our fresh tomato soup. First step, put some nice fresh tomatoes in boiling water. Just for a second or two. Then we're going to throw them in cold water and the skin will pop right off. Okay, once they've been in the boiling water for a few minutes, this was ice cold water. You can see the skins just start to pop right off. Put them aside. Then I simply take out the little bit of core in the middle. Because they've been in ice water, they've already cooled off pretty much. And I throw them in the food processor. Two tablespoons of regular butter. Have it on real low. And then get two tablespoons of flour. And we're going to make a roux. Now that takes stirring. You don't want it to sit for any length of time because it will burn really easily. And just keep stirring until the butter melts. Okay, we're stirring this up. We're getting close to having the butter nice and melted down. Well, I wanted to share this tomato with you. This is our August tomato of the season. Definitely has an unusual profile. <laughs> so it didn't get put in the pot today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we have our spices over here. Today we're going to be using... Let me get this in front of the camera so you can see it. <laughs> Alright, on this end we have the crushed chili peppers, a little bit of Old Bay uh, black pepper seasoning, rosemary, dried rosemary, let me stir this, then we have a little steak, grilled steak seasoning, you can just use any type of grilled seasoning, that's about an eighth teaspoon each, and then we have the pepper and a bay leaf. Okay, this looks like it's ready. I'm going to put in everything except the bay leaf. And of course, two tablespoons of oregano have to go in there. And now, we're going to throw in our tomatoes. They've been just pureed in my handy dandy food processor. There we go. Fresh, beautifully pureed tomatoes. Now throw the bay leaf. Now our soup's been simmering for about a half hour. I had it on real low and I've been stirring quite frequently because you don't want it, any of it to get stuck on the bottom and have any burning flavor. It's a beautiful consistency. I did add one teaspoon of sugar that I forgot to mention earlier because my tomatoes were fresh and they were a bit on the acidy side. But that's up to you. That's kind of optional. I just want you to see the consistency. You can stop now. That's just plain, beautiful tomato soup. You can use just the way you'd use any tomato soup or any can of Campbell's, if you know what I mean. Or you can continue with my optional ingredients and make something real special. Optional ingredients start with a nice tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. It's about two tiny cloves I have, or one mouth of them. <laughs> And then we have about three tablespoons of real finely chopped onion. Let me go ahead and put that in. Onion and garlic is in. I brought it back up to a real, real slow boil there. Now we add a little hamburger meat that we barbecued earlier today. Let's stir that in. Now we're going to let that cook for a few minutes. And then we'll add our next option.
traditional ingredient. Simmering for a few minutes. Now we're going to add an eighth a cup. Today we're using Berlio Orzo. Add that in there. Doesn't look like much, but it'll add a little to the soup. And now we're going to add my favorite, a little uh, champagne, quarter cup. Double whatever amount of orzo you put in. You don't want you want some. <laughs> I like that. that I like my soup a little brothy. I don't want too thick. And once that orzo cooks, it's going to take up some of the liquid. Then we go ahead and let all these wonderful things meld together. I leave this on low, 15, 20 minutes or so, stirring quite often. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then we can serve up. Here's the finished soup, this time served Italian style, with croutons and a little cheese on top. But if you wanted to go Mexican style, you could use tortilla chips. Enjoy.